All right, in this video we're just going to go over how to add a new brand from ASAP to your Rapid Fire site. This is the funnest part of the whole thing. Whoever thought data could be fun, right? But, um, so let's say you just got this email and uh, we brought on a new brand and you requested the data and you got approved. Immediately, as soon as you get that uh, approval notification, you can go on to your site. Now, you need to be logged in. So you're going to log in and you're going to see your admin bar and then you're going to go to store and configuration. And as you know, these are all shortcut links, right? So you're going to go to your streamline brands and this tells you how many brands you currently have on the site. Uh, it tells you that whether they're active, what kind of update it was the last time it was pulled and modified. And so these new uh, approvals, they're not on your site yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit add a streamline brand. And here's going to show you all the brands you're approved for, but not yet on your website. So you're going to click the ones you want. And if there's just one, then that's fine. And you're going to hit submit. And this is going to be creating them. Now, all of a sudden, if you go back over here to your streamline brands, and you hit status, right? So everything that's blue here can be sortable. So what you want to do is just hit status and it shows you which ones are currently needing mapping. Here's all you have to do. You go right over here to auto map. You click this. Now on this page, you have a choice. Now by default, we load it map pricing. Um, but perhaps for some reason, and, and if they don't have map, it will load at commerce. So if there's a product line that doesn't have map, but you don't want to sell it at full uh, commerce, you could hit commerce pricing, and then you can adjust it up or down, right? So you can go up by a certain percent or down by a certain percent. You could hit reduce retail price by, you know, 5%. And, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to put the percent sign in or you can just default it to map pricing, right? And so let me um, get rid of this and you hit submit. And this is creating all the fields. Uh, so let's say that there was attribute fields that you don't um, currently have on your website. This will create them all. It will load them all. And I'm gonna just hit one more and we're done. We just loaded three new entire lines to your website in minutes, right? And so um, what you'll find is it's working in the background. So right now it doesn't have anything right under the dates right here because it is creating the fields. It'll go through and create the uh, product displays, the products themselves. And so all you have to do is go on with your day now and just know that whatever brands you loaded, as long as they're still on ASAP, they'll auto update. So every time you get a notification from ASAP that says this brand's had new parts, pricing changes, discontinues, whatever. Again, as long as they're ASAP brands, you have to do nothing, which kind of is exciting, right? Yay. Anyway, just wanted to remind you how to load a new brand to your uh, rapid fire site and um, have a great day.